everyone, it's Katie, aka Miss Pink Melts Away, making another YouTube video. I'm yeah. so sorry. I know so I say that in every video, but I'm just busy all the time. So whenever I have time to just make a video or I'm just mentally ready to make a video, I try and make a video for you guys. But um, And I like to look cute for you guys, but I was like, you know what, I just got done with the gym and uh, I came home, made my food because I haven't eaten, so I'm going to eat that first before I make, like, start talking because I made all of my food and then my dad like came from outside and said that he was hungry and so uh, I gave him all of the food that I just made so I made it again um, and I'm gonna but I'm gonna make this video about foods uh, to eat and because I made a nutrition plan for this girl today and uh, it's just different diet options and food options for you to eat if you're struggling with you know different he healthy eating things it's not that you have to eat this on a certain day but it's just about living a healthy lifestyle and that's how you're gonna stay lean and that's how you're gonna lose this weight so um, I hope you guys like this video but first I'm gonna eat my food oh and I am having um, this is like a mixed blend it's of boiled vegetables it's broccoli col uh, broccoli coleslaw carrots um, Brussels sprouts kale uh, tomatoes onions um, cabbage and then I have two different types of veggie, veggie patties on top, the Morningstar Grillers Original and then the Morningstar uh, Mediterranean. It's like a tomato and basil and mozzarella patty. So two different patties. One, uh, the, the Grillers Original is 130 calories each patty, so I have one of those. And it has 15 grams of protein. And then the um, tomato and basil is 110 calories per patty, and I think it has... 10 to 12 grams of protein and then I have two slices of bread a uh, whole grain double fiber bread I get the Oro wheat bran it has um, 80 calories in each slice it has um, gosh let me get this right it has five grams of fiber and four grams of protein in each uh, slice as well and um, then I have avocado with, I usually put a little bit of salt and pepper and basil, but I just put pepper and basil today with cut up banana, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and uh, I was eating strawberries and grapes downstairs. So I'm going to eat my lunch now and then I'm going to talk. Okay guys, I'm all done with my food and I'm happy now that Katie's not hungry and I finally have some food in my stomach. But um, I'm so excited for this video guys because it's really important to have a, a, a something to start with because this whole meal plan that I made for uh, my dad's patient's friend or my dad's patient's daughter today is for athletes because I work out every single day right now um, I'm doing 30 minutes of cardio but I mix it up at the gym I'll do 10 minutes on the rower 10 minutes on a cross trainer or 10 minutes of running I'll always mix up my cardio and then I do 30 to 45 minutes of weight training so um, when you guys have seen me last uh, so you guys know like what's going on with me. I weigh 130 pounds right now, but I've gained muscle if you guys have noticed. Um, and I think my fat's probably around the same. Um, so this is the food and nutrition plan I made. And you guys, I'm so excited. I'm changing majors. Uh, like some of you guys may know from my Instagram channel, which it, or Instagram uh link or whatever, which is how most of you guys kind of keep in touch with me or see what I'm up to. Um I'm always posting different foods, but I was talking about how, I, anyway, sorry, completely off track. Um, so on my Instagram channel, I was talking about how I do, uh, I wanted to do bariatric or reconstructive surgery, and uh, I just had an epiphany just the other day and realized what I really want to do in life, because what do I do in my free time? And I thought about it to myself. When I have time to relax just to myself for things that I really need to get done every single day, is I get my workouts done every single day and what do I do in my free time when I'm just trying to relax when I'm not studying when I'm not with friends when I'm not in class when I'm not working or something then um, I'm watching bariatric uh, or not bariatric videos but like YouTube videos on weight loss and inspiration and that's what I love to do and so I always thought to myself instead of bariatric surgery I would much rather be working with these people struggling with their weights in the gym and motivating them and inspiring them to take control of their lives and realize that they can lose this weight naturally. And if you don't get surgery, then you don't have to limit the amount of food that you eat because I have found you guys, we don't have to starve ourselves. 
it's just about nutrition. It's just about eating the right foods. It's just about understanding what these what food does for our body, and um, then you can eat as much as you want because I eat tons and tons of food. So uh, this is a food nutrition plan that I'm going to cover, and then at the end of the video, I have these. I'm gonna post some better pictures like on the big screen so you can see it. But these are all of my different um, meals that I do. It's all about color. It's all about um, whole grain, or it's all about like whole foods such as fruits and vegetables. You know, whole grain, whole uh, double fiber bread. But um, these are just all different examples of my food. And it's all about uh, decorating it too and making sure that it tastes yummy and that you want it. And this last one actually isn't one that I make or eat, but I saw it online and it totally went along with the idea. And so um, what I did for uh, my dad's patient's daughter is that I just wrote down a list of different options. Um, I start off with what to look at on labels. So when we go into a grocery store, uh, a lot of the time we pick something, we don't know whether it's healthy or not, and we don't really know what to look at to know whether it's healthy. So we want to be looking at the calories to start. We definitely know calories, calories from fat. However, some natural whole foods have extra fat, so we don't have to worry so much about calories from fat. No types of fat, but we do need to know about the types of fat that's in the foods. So there's unsaturated, saturated, and trans fat. We should never be eating trans fats at all in our diet. And um, we should be eat, looking for mainly unsaturated fats. We do need some saturated fat in our diet. However, you can have natural saturated fat as well. For example, coconut oil is packed with saturated fat, but it's also great for the body and completely natural. And the more natural our diet is to what we... Um, what we originally started eating, the healthier we're going to be and the better we're going to feel and the more energy we're going to have throughout the day. I know that nutrition, no one likes to look at food just as nutrition and people like to enjoy their foods and eat what they want. But the thing is, is you can eat healthy and you can enjoy your, your foods and you can eat what you want, but it's about eating the right types of foods and you have to mentally be prepared and ready to eat the right types of food if you want to lose weight and continue to keep it off because the fruit Loops diet is going to make you lose weight, but it's not going to make you to uh, have your, a lifestyle change, and you're not going to keep the weight off if you continue that habit. And so, yes, I made that video, but I'm I'm disclaiming right now, like that is not the way to go. Like that, if that's just one option, and that's how I lost weight. But I would never advocate for that now, now that I have a much better knowledge in nutrition. And that's why I changed up my degree. Like, I want to do fitness and health and uh, lifestyle stuff for everyone as my career. And I really want to have a better knowledge from it. And so as I take more classes into my major, then I'm just going to have a better understanding and I'll be able to give you guys more information. But this is what I have right now and I want to give you guys a basis to start on to have a you know a successful future for with your weight loss and so different breakfast food options that I have listed I have non-fat Greek yogurt um, chia seeds nuts shredded wheat right now I'm just listing the different options these are not meals because then afterwards I want to give you some examples of breakfast meals but these are just types of things that you could be eating and I will post this list at the end um, that can that it can give you options. So chia seeds, nuts, shredded wheat, egg whites. I always do egg whites with avocado and veggies, so I just added those together. Um, whole grain bagel with avocado, um, high fiber, low sugar oatmeal, or you can substitute with a healthy cereal. Um, unsweetened almond milk. There's also unsweetened cashew milk. They also have unsweetened chocolate almond milk. And so regular unsweetened almond milk is 30 calories a cup. Uh, Non-fat milk, however, is 90 calories a cup. Unsweetened chocolate almond milk, so you get to have chocolate in there, is only 45 calories a cup. So that's what I always have with my uh, oatmeal. And then a uh, fruit assortment. It's, fruit is your friend. People need to stop being afraid of fruit because of the sugar in it. Your body needs glucose for your body. It's one thing to have sugar in cake and sweets and cookies. It's another thing to have natural sugars with the fiber, with the extra water, and with the nutrition for your body. So don't ever be afraid of fruit. I pack up on fruit. I eat tons and tons of fruit. You will not gain weight. I don't. I don't. I do not care what anyone says. It's the other foods that you're putting into your body that's making you gain the weight. It is not the fruit and that's just 
a fact, okay? <laughs> Anyways, fruit assortment. So different options I have are bananas, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, grapes, mandarins, mangoes, oranges, Asian pears are my absolute favorite fruit. It tastes like an apple and a pear mix. And uh, my one uh, friend, his family, they have like multiple Asian pear trees and some of them have like an apple orange pear taste. It's so cool. Um, so those are my different breakfast food options, and I will list those again. Examples of breakfast meals that I have with those. So I'll have four to five egg whites at once. And just so you guys know, um, eggs are a great source of protein. However, the egg white, so if you look at a standard egg, it's 75 calories. If you look at the egg white, it's only 10 to 17 calories, depending on the thing. And that has most of the protein in it. And uh, the yellow, the yolk, is what has the cholesterol in it. So if you guys separate the egg whites from the egg, you can actually have more of it, which will make you fuller. So I always have four to five egg whites, which isn't equating to near as many calories. Um, with spinach, onion, and tomatoes, and you can add mushrooms if you like them. I hate mushrooms. Uh, with avocado and fruit, and that's one option, and I'll do salt and pepper uh, to taste. Maybe throw in some garlic or some onion. Um, but you just want to get no salt seasonings because we don't need to pack up on extra sodium. Usually we have enough of it in our own diet where we don't need to be just adding more. And we don't want to be swelly and puffy. Um, another option for breakfast is oatmeal with unsweetened almond milk or chocolate, uns unsweetened chocolate almond milk and fruit, which is what I have all the time. It's uh, simple and quick and if you're in a and if you're in a rush somewhere, having some um, oatmeal is really filling along with the, the fruit. And so it'll get you going at least for a couple hours. <clears throat> Another option uh, I have all the time. This is a bigger breakfast for me. Um, but I also, after I have these, if I'm still hungry after breakfast, I'll have a protein bar. Like, that's my go-to. I use the Quest ones, but I'll get to that later. Like, this whole video is on nutrition, and even though it's going to be long, it's going to be informative, and I hope by the end of it, you guys have some really good ideas and feel confident um, that you have a better understanding of nutrition and how food affects your body. And so, uh, this one, I have non-fat Greek yogurt, and I'll do with one cut-up banana, um, grapes, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, and a couple strawberries with shredded wheat, chia seeds, and possibly a little bit of healthy cereal um, to add just a crunch to it. And I will show an example right now of what that looks like. Right here you'll see the top one is my Oatfit oatmeal and fruit, and the bottom one is my um, non-fat Greek uh, light and fit yogurt bowl with all of my uh, stuff in it and a Quest bar. <laughs> And, um, yeah, these are two of my main breakfasts that I have every morning. And breakfast is so important, you guys. Food is so important for you throughout the day. Disregard anything that I ever say about restricting calories because I just didn't know better. You guys need calories. You guys need, uh, you guys need energy. And you, it's the only way to function, okay? It's so important. I got really lucky that nothing happened to me. Luckily, my dad, uh, you know, is a doctor and had a close eye under me, but it's so important now that I have a better understanding about nutrition and information that I really, I really give this to you guys and uh, help you guys. Um, and then I have, okay, and then after that I also have a, a whole grain bagel with avocado and fruit. Some of you guys love bagels and you'll put cream cheese on it. Instead of cream cheese, go for something a little more natural. Avocado is a great source of fat and you do need fat in your diet. I always go to avocado. I have avocado all the time. I probably have one to two avocados every day and uh, it makes my skin really fresh and healthy. I know I probably don't look great right now, but I have absolutely no makeup on whatsoever. got done with the gym and I always have really great skin and it definitely, definitely has to go with how much fruit and avocado I have. Um, some snack food options that I have for you guys just throughout the day that you guys could eat. I have nuts and seeds. You guys can make your personal trail mixes. You know, you can go out and buy some almonds. You could buy some cashews. You could buy some walnuts. You could get some seeds. You can get some dark chocolate. You could guys could get some cranberries or raisins. Then you guys can make your own personal uh, trail mix. My mom will throw coconut in there or whatever she's, uh, she's wanting. But uh, they're great little... Uh, you know, energy things. You can usually have a serving of about 180 calories. Um, and they're great sources of energy and healthy sources of fat. 
uh, a protein bar. Quest protein bars are my absolute favorite protein bars. They have the best nutrition facts. They range between 160 and 210 calories. They all have 20 to 21 grams of protein and 17 grams of fiber. Um, the cookies and cream is my absolute favorite. You can only get, get Quest bars mainly at GNC's general nutrition shops uh, or ne general nutrition centers uh, and they can be expensive so uh, if you're on a budget, then Quest Bars are probably aren't the way to go unless you have uh, nice parents. <laughs> um, because it's $25, it, with the GNC membership, it's $25 for a box of 12, which is pricey. But they are great stacks, so maybe you can get one box. Um, fruit assortments. If you're ever hungry, fruit is always a go-to that you can go through go for it. Like, I have fruit throughout the day. I'll snack on grapes, mandarins, because it's a great source of energy, and um, it'll, it keeps you, it keeps you satisfied, and the sugar will also keep you, like, up and wanting to do things. And um, I've noticed the more active I am, the better I can control my hunger. I totally understand after we've killed our bodies so many eating times. too much, we don't even understand portion controls. We tend to eat too much. What's great about this nutrition plan is if you tend to just overeat, if you tend to boredom eat, if you tend to emotional eat, then you're going to be okay with this diet because this food's not going to make you fat. This food's not going to make you gain weight. And um, you guys just really need to understand nutrition. And if you understand nutrition and go by nutrition, then just don't put the don't put the bad foods into your body. And if you pack up on these foods, you won't have the cravings to go to those foods because your body will be completely nourished. You won't feel like you need more. You will be satisfied. Trust me, I promise you. Um, other options, snack food options. I have yogurt and oatmeal. Always quick go to. Um, so I combined my lunch and dinner food options together, and then at the end I'm going to talk about examples of the lunch and dinner meals. So one of some of the food options that I have for you guys. Um, whole grain bread. I always get the Oro Wheat Double Fiber because it has the best nutrition facts. Uh, you can also get whole grain tortillas if you want to do a burrito or taco someday. Black beans. Black beans are great sources of fiber. They're also great sources of protein. Quinoa, another great source of protein. And these are all, uh, you know, whole foods. And so they're going to satisfy you and they're natural and they're not packed with all of those preservatives that are just going to stay in your body forever. Um, fruit. I love fruit. <laughs> Load up on boiled or steamed veggies. I use tons and tons of veggies. The more veggies you get into your diet, the, the flatter your stomach's going to be. I've noticed that most people do not eat vegetables that I've noticed. Like, we just don't eat them. We don't like them. We don't eat them. Vegetables can taste good, but we do need to season them right, and we don't need to add all of the salt to them. There are ways to make your food taste good without adding all of the calories to them. If this plan was not tasty, I would not advocate it, but if you eat my food, you will like it. It's simple. It's not, you know, rich in calories, but it tastes good, and you're going to enjoy it, and you're going to lose weight from it, and that's why I'm talking about it. So uh, different examples of veggies that I eat every single day. I'm telling you, I eat so many vegetables and big portions of them because it's important. And the more color you get into your diet, the more variety, the better you're going to feel and the more nourished you're going to be. Uh, we naturally are prone, like when if we see a, a thing of Skittles, we are much more likely to have one of each Skittle because naturally, biologically, in our brains, we like color, we like variety, we like assortment because that's how we were grown to know that we were fully nourished. And that goes along with fruits, that goes along with vegetables. Get those leafy greens, get those rich purples, get the bright reds because they're all going to do something different and beneficial for your body. Um, so examples, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, spinach, leafy greens, carrots, broccoli slaw mix, tomatoes. It's just about getting that variety in there. And if you don't like one thing, that's okay. I hate mushrooms. I do not like mushrooms. They are so gross. Like, I, I don't understand how anyone can like mushrooms. I also don't like seafood. I think seafood's disgusting, but some people really like it. But the great thing about it is seafood is healthy. So even though I hate it, someone else might like it, and then they can eat that. <laughs> but, um... As long as I don't have to eat it. <clears throat> and then veggie patties. I'm vegetarian, mainly vegan, um, and so I don't eat chicken, I don't eat turkey, I don't eat fish. However, those are great sources of protein for you guys who are, um, you know, uh, meat eaters. Um, but they are great sources of protein. I'm not going to deny that. But I just don't eat animals because when I eat them now, it tastes weird. Like, it tastes like muscle. Like, 
it's I feel like I'm biting into muscle as opposed to my veggie patties and I found that I can get plenty of protein without meat in my diet and so it doesn't have any fiber in it anyway so I don't need it so um, so I always have the Morning Star veggie patties I get the Grillers original and the uh, the tomato and basil and mozzarella patties I've told you guys that a thousand times or at least I have on my Instagram channel um, and then I just told you, you guys can do four ounces of lean chicken, turkey, or fish. Those are all white meats, great meats, uh, lean meats for you. Edamame, soybeans. If you guys have never tried them, you can get them at most Asian restaurants. They're great sources of complete protein because a lot of uh, people feel like vegetarians can't get complete sources of protein. But um, edamame is a great source. And egg whites, another source of complete protein. These are not vegan, but they are vegetarian because they do not kill any animals. Like I said earlier, the egg white is the white part of it, and, and it's isolated from the yolk, those of you who don't understand the egg. <sighs> and then low-sodium soup. Um, soup is great for you. It's full. It makes you uh, feel full because of all of the water in it and the broth, but... Um, a lot of soups, canned soups, tend to be really high in sodium, and so to avoid that, we always want to find ones that are low in sodium. I've, I'm a, like a weed snob when I'm like looking at the different soups. I'm like staring them all down, like which one do I want? Um, so I like the Amy's Organic Lentil Vegetable Soup. It has, I don't have the information on the top of me, but I talk about it in another video, so you guys can look it up. It's the Amy's Lentil Vegetable Organic Soup. I have pictures of it. somewhere. Here. That's a standard lunch or a dinner meal for me. I substitute them all the time. My lentil vegetable soup and bread and avocado and fruit and protein bar. And then, uh, yeah, I eat tons and tons of food, you guys, all the time. And I stay being this lean. And this is coming from me being overweight my entire life. This is coming from me being 211 pounds. This is coming from someone who absolutely understands your struggle. I understand it's not easy to make these choices. But if you have them here, if you know what these if you know that you have options available, then it's up to you guys whether you're going to do this or not. It's the accountability is on you. Whether you are ready to make this change in your life, what are you, whether you're ready to, you know, have that healthy lifestyle and really commit to making a change, that's up to you. But I want this to be available for each and every one of you guys to be successful because you guys can be successful with a meal plan like this. You guys don't need to go on a Fruit Loops diet. You guys don't need to go on a crash diet. And you will lose weight and you will be fit and you will be confident and you will like be happy because I enjoy eating now that I'm able to eat all the time I'm stoked like it's awesome and it motivates me to work out every day because I know that if I didn't work out like this I couldn't eat this much because I do eat lots and lots of food throughout the day but uh, we should be because our metabolism should we should be going but it's about being active and it's about having that healthy active lifestyle and uh, then your metabolism will completely balance out and you don't have to worry about calories They're, they will not be an issue anymore but you have to allow a time a time frame for your body to get into itself and trust itself and uh, we just all have to go through that mentally and just be prepared to know that we're not going to give up though this is a lifestyle change this isn't about oh I messed up what am I going to do I've gained 15 pounds I've gained 20 pounds well then you need to go back to eating healthier and so that way you'll lose the weight again because your body will lose the weight again but you have to allow it to and you have to give it time um let's see what else okay so oh and then whole grain pasta Oh no, I don't think I finished this. Okay, so I was at the soup. Brown rice, a great source of carbohydrate. You guys, carbs are our friends. We do need carbohydrate in our diet. People who focus so much on protein, only 10 to 15% of our total calories should be coming from protein. We should have a high carbohydrate diet, high carbohydrate diet, especially all of you who are working out and trying to um, lose weight all the time. Athletes need a high carb diet. It gives us that glucose. It gives it that sugar to give us our energy. That's why I always am advocating for fruit because it's a great source of energy. Um, brown rice is also a great uh, source of energy along with whole grain pasta and when I say brown rice and whole grain pasta and bread I know a lot of you guys get concerned what about the the, the complex carbs that's gonna stick to my ass forever but you guys no it these are great for you they're they're whole for you it's just about getting the right kinds it's about not getting the flour and 
the it's about getting the right ones and then um, also understanding portion control with it like if I had a whole grain pasta I would have maybe a little bit of like a quarter cup of pasta and then tons of veggies and then I'd have my veggie patties and you guys could do chicken or turkey or whatever you guys wanted but it's understanding por uh, portions of different things and you can have a huge portion portion of vegetables you can't have a huge portion of pasta because then you're just going to be filled with pasta as opposed to with filled with vegetables and then examples of lunch and dinner meals um, one example I have boiled veggies with a little bit of salt pepper basil garlic powder and onion powder and and vegetable seasoning which I, you can always get into in the seasoning aisle and just get the ones with no salt in them um, and then add a protein source on it whether it be quinoa veggie patties black beans edamame or choice of meat um, plus one to two slices of toasted whole grain bread with avocado, basil, and uh, I cut up a banana. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not sure I've told you this. Uh, plus one to two slices of whole grain bread with avocado, basil, a cut up banana on top with blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, and strawberries, which um, I have right here. Um, another possibility is whole grain tortilla with avocado, veggies, and egg whites. You could do like an egg white, uh, like veg vegetable avocado taco, plus a protein source with a fruit bowl on the side. Uh, with, and you can add lemon juice. Lemon juice is great at extracting the sugar and so making the fruit actually taste sweeter. Um, or another option, you could do soup with a side of toasted bread and the avocado and basil and the same fruit again. Uh, you know, instead of the vegetables and protein, you could just have a lentil vegetable soup, you know, and that's just another option. Um, or you could do a, a black, one of my favorites, I do black bean mango salads. Or you could do quinoa and uh, mandarin salads. You know, you can always mix it up with different things on what you like, but black, black bean mango is a popular salad. Uh, that people get, and you can get that with avo or you can make that with avocado, leafy greens, veggies, and you can add a, an option of protein of another protein source like the veggie patties or the the meat, um, and you can add nuts on top. Another great um, meal option. And so you know, salads can taste great. I do not use dressing because I don't see the point. But if you have mango with it or mandarins with avocado, you're going to have a solid like taste to it. And it, it tastes great. It ta you do not need dressing to cover up the natural flavors of healthy food because they can taste great as long as you have the right combination of them. Um, another option is a veggie sandwich with vegetables, avocado, or pesto um, with a choice of meat. And a side of fruit, you know, you can always get a vegetable meat sandwich, pack it with veggies, and it can be huge. Um, or you could do the standard brown rice and vegetables with the choice of protein and fruit on the side. A lot of people uh, say, you know, don't mix your fruit and veggies because they don't digest well. I have never had an issue with uh, digesting these foods. They go right through me. Um, so that's me. I need a lot of food to fill me up, so I always have fruit as well as everything else that I have because I like it and I like sweets. Um, and then another option is a small portion of whole grain pasta with lots of veggies and a source of meat, which is what I was talking about earlier. Um, so seasonings to think about, no salt. I already talked about a couple of them earlier. I'm going to go over them again. Onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, basil, cumin, vegetable mix. Uh, you can find vegetable blends or herbs to something that it'll say in the seasoning section or a curry paste. Curries are always great. There's not many calories in them, but I don't like that spicy food. However, spicy group food and spices are great for boosting that metabolism. So for those of you who like them, you're in luck. You're uh, going to boost your metabolism. So cool. And uh, just remember that food is our friend. And in order to have awesome best friends, we need to pick the right foods that will treat us and our bodies right make confident cho food choices, and enjoy the extra energy because you are going to have extra energy with this food. I promise you. It's all about making that life, uh, making that life choice or that lifestyle choice and committing and understanding that if I want to be happy, if I want to be healthy, if I want to look like this, if I want to be fit, if you want to be a certain way, you can do it, but you have to understand that you, your nutrition needs to be right then. And as I go to school, as I become more um, knowledgeable in this 
whole healthy arena. I will give that information to you guys and I really hope that I can make a career of this someday and that I can really you know do some awesome things because I, I was just thinking about it the other day. I was with my friends studying for calculus too and I'm like okay I'm gonna be a surgeon I'm gonna do this whole thing and I'm gonna be in school for the next hundred years of my life it seemed like but um you know if if I can but then I thought to myself what do I really want to do? I want to make people happy. I want people to feel in control of their lives and that they can do anything. And you guys, you guys can do anything. It's about who's who's willing to put in the work, who's willing to take that extra step, and who's willing to take control of their lives and realize that it doesn't matter what people try and throw in your way. If you are in control of your life, and if you are healthy and on a right path, then there's no one that can stop you and there's no one that can get in your way. So do this for you guys. Make this change for you guys. Not eating those bad foods. Don't eat them. It's not worth it. It's not worth the next day feeling like crap. Every time that we have that temptation, every time that we're eating something that tastes good, because it's usually one bite or two bites and then it sticks to more, we need to know we can stop and that like, if we just continue eating, it's the next day. It's every time we think in our head that it's not going to affect us. Every time that we say we're going to start tomorrow, it's that meal right there that is stopping us from from changing the weight, from losing the weight because our mindset's still not there. It's still not ready to make the change. So don't give in to temptation. If you don't give in to temptation and you guys have a, like a solid idea of foods that you can eat, you can eat all the time. And so now that I've given this to you guys, you guys have tons of different meal options. There is no excuse but for you guys to live a healthy lifestyle and do what you really want to do in life. And um, I, w I was thinking because uh, I want to be a, a nutritionist and specialist in this and a phys personal trainer. I don't really know exactly what I want to do, but I want to know everything when it comes to nutrition and everything that comes to fitness because the more knowledgeable you are, the more successful you're going to be. And I'm going to be super successful with this and I'm going to share it. But until then, this is what I have right now and I know that this is good and I know that this is going to make you uh, full of energy and be a lot more nutritious than you usually are. So I hope that you guys got some help from this and uh, please be tuned for more videos to come. I swear, I do make videos, but I am just so busy all the time and when I have a second to spare, I, I don't want to edit the videos together and my computer has broken down three times and uh, my phone broke and so I couldn't connect my, uh, my stuff to my computer. It's just things happen and so I really apologize for the long waits but um, I am still here and I do really care about you guys and I really want to make something with this YouTube channel. It just may take a little time as I fo focus on school because school's my my focus right now but I really want to do something with this and I really want to help you guys so I hope that this helps you in the meantime and look forward to more videos in the future once I have them edited I will post them um much love from Miss Pink Melts Away